So in this video, I'm going to talk about elapsed time problem solving. So for example, we have this first problem. Paolo and Jason arrived at the dentist's office at 1.26 in the afternoon. They see the doctor at 3.08 p.m. How long was their wait? So let us solve this. So the time ended at 3.08 p.m. or in the afternoon. And it started at 1.26 also in the afternoon. So to know how long is uh, their wait, then we're going to subtract it. So 8 minutes and 26 minutes, we cannot subtract it because the one on top is smaller. And so we're going to borrow from 1R. So we'll take 1 hour and add 60 minutes because uh, 1 hour is equivalent to 60 minutes. And so this 3 becomes 2 and this 8 becomes 68. And so let's subtract 68 minus 26 is 42. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have the answer. But before that, let's analyze first the question, how long was their wait? It's asking for how long, it's not asking for the time. So that means this 142 doesn't mean 142 in the afternoon. But it means 1 hour and 42 minutes. So let's have another problem. Problem number 2. Joan boiled an egg at 9.47 in the morning. If it takes 15 minutes for the egg to be cooked using a boiling water, what time will Joan need to take the eggs? So let's solve this. We have 9.47. It starts at 9.47 and it's given that it's 15 minutes after uh, boiling. And so we're going to add this with 15 minutes. So that we will know the time that Joan will take these eggs. So let's add 47 plus 15 is 62, and 9 plus 0 is 9. And so is it 9.62 in the morning? Observe that the minutes exceed the uh, minute, which is only up to 59. There's no such thing as 62 or even 60. So we're going to transfer 60 minutes because 60 minutes is 1 hour. So we're going to put it in R. So we'll take 60 minutes from the minutes and put it in the R, which is equivalent to 1 hour. And so the 62 becomes 2. 62 minus 60 is 2. And then 9 plus 1, it will be 10. And so let's go back to the question, what time will Joan need to take the egg? So it's asking for time. So this is not t 10 hours and 2 minutes, but it's 10.02 in the morning. So the answer is 10.02 a.m. So let's have another problem. Problem number 3. Albert arrived at school at 7.32 in the morning. He left at 4.16 in the afternoon. How long was Albert at school? So let's start with the time ended at 4.16 in the afternoon. And time started at 7.32 in the morning. So to know how long or the time elapsed for Albert staying at school, we're going to subtract this time. So Notice that the one on top is smaller than the bottom. It's because they don't have the same dimension. The one on top is in the afternoon and the one at the bottom is in the morning. So to solve this kind of problem, we are going to convert the, the afternoon into 24 hour time. That means we are going to add 12 to the hours so that it is possible for us to solve this. So 4 plus 12 is 16. So 16 hour is the same as 4 in the afternoon. And so let's subtract now, but we have minutes which is smaller, uh, the one on top is smaller than the bottom. 
so that means we are going to borrow from the R so take one R from the R's and add 60 minutes to the minute so 16 becomes 15 and 16 in the minutes becomes 76 so sub let's subtract now 76 minus 32 is 44 and 15 minus 7 is 8 so is the answer 844 so let's go back to the question how long was Albert at school so it's asking for how long so that means it's not 844 in the evening but it's actually 8 hours and 44 minutes since it is not asking for time but it's asking for how long thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section